So this is pretty much the way to start a morning on a Saturday morning. Feet kicked up, ducks all around, drink some coffee, chickens all up in your grill. But pretty soon I gotta go fix that busted pipe. And I just haven't done it yet. I'm gonna try to talk Nikki into doing it. Let me see what happens. Think that'll work, chicken? Yeah? No? Maybe. Shake your head, yes. Nope. Looks a lot more like a no to me. Good day. The allure of leftovers. The ducks can't resist. What? Nah. All right, babe. You're for the great mystery breakdown. Can you tell the neighbor's dog to shut up? All right, so these are the pipes that busted up here. As I showed in my previous video. And it used to be one of these valves, which this has been busted. So it wouldn't have been one of these valves. Those have always been off. And I could have swore that I had this one off, which control where the house, this house, versus over there where we live. Um, had water or not. They're both off the same water main. I don't know at what point it breaks off to go to our living area over there. And so, really I could just bypass this valve because it's open. And it's been open. But I don't remember what I used to turn on and off to control the water to this house because I still got plumbing repairs that need to be made to it. Um, and it hasn't had water going to it. But why in this world will this valve not be off? I don't know. So, but with busted pipes, it's kind of hard to tell what's what. So I'm leaning towards trying to find out if I have a valve because all of these are cracked in perfect places where it'd be really difficult to, to reuse them. So I'm going to go plunder through my stuff and see if I've got a valve. My idea is to go ahead and I put the valve down under the ground in some kind of little irrigation tunnel or something. That way I can actually get to it and turn it on and off. Or, I got the cool little flexible pipe fitting, and I could just clean it off there, and connect it to there, and bypass this valve. But does this valve serve a function? I really don't know. Babe, you want to redo that breakdown for us? In your own words? Um, well, valves are busted, they need to be repaired. <clears throat> you don't know what goes where, so... You're gonna go look through your stuff to figure out if you have other stuff to fix something you don't know what to fix. That's that's pretty spot on. I thought you're gonna be like something's broken, go fix it. That's the gist. Yes. Okay. So I have a one inch ball valve, but nothing three quarter. Nikki's about to put together a uh, set it up so we can just bypass it. All right, babe. If you think so. And if that doesn't work. We can do something different later, but I want water so I can shower. All right, so Nikki just took the reins on this project. What are we doing, babe? Cutting off the pipes under the rectangle spot under the valves, and then going to turn the water on to a trickle to see where the water's coming from. That way we know what to do after that. Sounds like a decent plan to me. I'm about to give you the saw. Be sure we have enough in case we mess up, you know, because we can always build the dirt up. Now she's tired of talking about it, right? Time to start hacking it. Uh-huh. Hacksaw. You ever used one of those before? Uh, yes. Okay. We want to make sure you cut it nice and straight. Not going to happen. You got to. So then we put the coupling or whatever fitting we want up going on there. Um, cut it a few inches below. Oh, no. These are my good pajamas. These are my good pajamas. You can't. No. Yes, you can. Mm -mm. You don't even have to kneel or anything. No, I have to. Oh, you're just cutting like right here. Oh, we just discussed that. I thought I was cutting it under the ground. You discussed it. I was going with your original well, suggestion. It didn't help. I definitely have to touch the ground. Oh. You're doing a great job, babe. Keep it up. She could go all the way. Water's coming out of this one. <laughs> You're doing a great job, Ed. Keep it up. This is pretty much horrible. Yeah. 
There she goes. Are we all the way through? Yeah, it's frozen. Ooh, look at that ice. That's cool. All right, I'm going to turn it on. See what uh, happens. We don't need to turn this one on. I don't I mean, know. cut this one. I don't know. Maybe not. Let's go cut this one on. I got a feeling. Project update. So that's the input that goes to this shenanigans to go into that pipe, which goes somewhere, I'm guessing to the house. But still don't know if we can just cap this one off and still have water up at our place. So we're trying to sort that out now. All right, I'm gonna get Larry Eugene's butt out of bed so I can find out if he did some valve turning to know whether those valves are important or not. Can you see me now? There, oh, nope, yeah, there we go. Yeah, we're doing that now. Larry Eugene! What are you doing? So, I went next door and my uh, my neighbor happens to be the, a city water manager or something like that for the next town over and he happened to have a few things and he was already working on some of his spigots that had split and cracked. So he rigged this up for me and uh, just half inch cap going into a slip coupling going into, I forgot what you call these, when they go from size to size. but. And he used the clear stuff. I've never used the clear stuff, but <clears throat> he said it may take a little while for it to dry. But I'm gonna, I don't know, cut that a little bit flusher or a little bit straighter and uh, slip this over. I'm gonna try to do it deep enough so that I can put a five gallon bucket or something around it and, and try to insulate it a little bit better. And the plan is to go back underground and put a valve valve in there. But if you watch any of my videos before, you'll know that I absolutely despise going to town when I don't have to. So I'm going to see if this works. It'll be my luck that somehow capping it off will make our water up the hill not work. But we'll see. So don't tell Nikki, but in the efforts to fix her crooked cut, I've made two more crooked cuts. So I'm going to try again. But also, I think I'm going to switch over to my old hacksaw with the rusty, dirty blade. Because this one, new one, it's all flimsy and whatnot. I don't like it. We're not friends. What up? Got the water working. Take a shower, potentially. Don't know what else we have in store for the day. Thanks to my neighbor, Christopher's. I now have water again. And his magic little plug thingy that he rigged up. Pretty great. All right, Larry Eugene. What's up? Larry Eugene got out of bed finally. So our homestead is a very long way away from being hammock ready. Paul Wheaton talks about getting your place to where to kind of maintain itself and you can chill in the hammock and despite not being hammock ready I'm still just basking in the sun on this slightly chilly day happy as heck that I made it through my first week of school I like teaching it for those that don't know and first week's always kind of a, a pain in the butt so it was all downhill from there and this semester go great we'll see I started uh, yesterday on Fridays, I do a little activity called Writing Cross Curriculum. And we read something, and students do a little writing activity with it. And we started with the, uh, what does he call the book? The Permaculture Student. And we did most of the first chapter of that yesterday. Turned out pretty good. So, I'm going to kind of uh, start a little series, maybe. Probably not. On just uh, doing that with my students and seeing how it goes. And maybe recording some of our discussions. It's pretty cool stuff. But I'm going to wrap this video up here. Like, subscribe, etc. If you're into watching people who completely don't know what they're doing, figure it out as they go. And I'm going to continue to sit here and nap with the ducks. I mean, the ducks just napping. Except for that one. She's being really loud. What do you want, duck? But yeah. Hey, there's a bug. Right, right, right there. I can pick it up. And there's Larry Eugene. Okay, I get it. I'm being quiet. Didn't mean to wake you up. Ugh.